What is up everyone? Welcome to Steve's Corner and in today's video we're going to be checking out um we're back on Minecraft and today we're gonna to be checking out how the world in Minecraft generates um in 1.18, you know, and like depending on how far out you are. So we're gonna go further and further out into the world until we notice some changes. Actually, no, we're gonna start from coordinates one and then we're gonna go all the way to the max coordinates and see how the generation changes over time. So that's basically the video. Now there's not much to explain here. Um and I'll name this video what the 1.18 caves and cliffs part two and I probably didn't say cliffs and cliffs part two, but what the Farlands look like in 1.18 Minecraft. Now this isn't literally 1.18, this is still an experimental, but this is what one like this is what one point eighteen is gonna be. So you know we're still here as you can tell there's the um, cliffs over here, so you can tell that this is 1.18. Uh, like I said, though, this we are still on 1.17. We haven't got it to 1.18 yet, but uh, I'm checking it out on 1.18 because why not? And yeah, it just has experimental gameplay on caves and cliffs toggled. But yeah, that's not the point anyway. The point is, um, is we're going to be checking out how the world generates like at certain coordinates and how it progresses over time and gets more laggier and more corrupted the further out you go so let's start the video now all right guys so we're going to start here at coordinates one so as you can tell by my position we are only at coordinates one and uh yeah so of course this is supposed to be normal i mean there's nothing wrong with an area like this i mean come on if there was something wrong with an area like this i think minecraft would have already been corrupted to begin with because yeah, it's coordinates one. Come on, what can be so wrong with coordinates one? Nothing exactly, unless the world's supposed to be corrupted. Then I can get it. But uh, yeah. So this is coordinates one. There isn't much to say. You know, it's just your average Minecraft world. I mean, you guys get it if you play Minecraft. You know, there ain't nothing out of the ordinary at all. So uh, yes. So let's go to the next coordinates, which is going to be coordinates one thousand. All right, we are at coordinates one thousand, and we're just you know, waiting for things to generate. Now, I've already been out here because, you know, uh, I started recording, but this is take two because I had a uh, night vision potion on, so, you know, I uh, kind of had to restart because it was getting kind of annoying. But anyway, here we are at coordinates 1000. As you can see, there is still no difference, and if there was a difference, again, that would be kind of upsetting because really not much should change uh, just a thousand blocks away, you know what I'm saying? Th there really shouldn't be much that changes there. And as you can see, nothing has changed. So yes, confirmed. There is no difference uh, from coordinates one to coordinates 1000, of course, as far as world generation goes. Of course, it's obviously a whole different area, but I'm talking about how world generation um, works. So yes, this is coordinates 1000, as you can tell. Uh, like I said, nothing wrong, of course. Uh, Again, if there was something wrong, it would be corrupt, but as you can tell, we have a ravine and everything here. So yeah, um, just normal, you know, nothing so far. Um, it's unusual. So, now next coordinates is coordinates 10,000. Let's go here and see what we got. I'm just waiting for everything to load up. Okay, coordinates 10,000. So what do we got? So what do we got? Again, just normal. There's nothing wrong with coordinates 10,000. And again, it seems pretty normal. It's not really much of a surprise that there isn't much that's happened in these coordinates because, you know, it's only 10,000 meters blocks. Of course, it would take a little while to travel there, but I mean, it's Minecraft in 2021, almost 2022, so, you know, it's really improved, and, yeah, but there is nothing wrong, there's nothing to discuss, it's the same thing as the first, uh, two coordinates, it's the same thing as coordinates 1, and the same thing as coordinates, um, 1000, you know, the generation is still normal, just the average gives and cliffs now. I know what you guys might be thinking, you know, if you haven't played Minecraft for too long, hey, this isn't normal, well, yes it is, okay, there's a lot of stuff like this and it's always been like that in minecraft okay but yes the world generation overall is normal so we can move on to the next coordinates which will be coordinates 100,000. so shall we go let's do it all right coordinates 100,000. let's go now this will take a uh, another minute or something because i 
haven't been here yet in this world, so yes. Alright, so just give it a minute to generate. Oh, oh, oh. We are inside of blocks. Now, no, guys, that's not part of the generation, trust me. It's just because I happen to teleport myself inside a box. Um, anyway. So, is everything normal? I mean, it doesn't seem too bad. I don't see any lag whatsoever. As far as I can... Oh, actually, there is a little bit of lag. There is a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can notice, but when I move a little bit, it's just a little bit shaky. I'm not sure if you guys notice that. And it's not when I'm, like, walking straight forward. Like, when I'm walking straight forward, it's completely normal. Actually, not really. Wait. Yeah, it's a little shaky in Coinus 100,000. It's a little shaky, especially when you walk sideways. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it is shaking a little bit. It is shaking a little bit. Now, the world generation's normal. As far as that, everything's still normal. But the actual, uh, like, actually, is this normal? Is snow supposed to be like this? I don't know if snow is supposed to be like this. I'm not sure about that. So, maybe world generation might be a little... Just minor, like, this is pretty much just a minor... Um, th this is a minor difference. But it still isn't the same as the other two. It's still quite different. Actually, never mind. No, this is normal, because it's the block that it is. It's, you know, it's actually lower. Okay, so now I know what this is like this. So the world generation actually is normal, but it gets a little shaky back here. That's the thing that's not normal, it's, as far as the um, movement, like how you move and stuff. It's way different. Um, So yeah, that is Cornus 100,000. Uh, that's really the only thing that is different about this one, is that it's shaky over here. It starts to get a little shaky. I mean... Like I said, it is very minor. It's not shaky at all, barely. But you can, if you look very closely, you can notice a little bit of shake. So, yeah. That's it for 100,000. Alright, let's go to 1 million. Um, million, 100, and 1 million. Alright. What do we got over here in coordinates 1 million? Now, I know from here it's going to be quite different. Um, okay, so the only bad thing here is that we're here above water instead of above blocks, but we can still fly and see how it goes. Now, I can't say much has happened to the world generation. Now, how shaky is it? Exactly, how much shakier has the world gotten? I can already notice the shake when I'm flying. Okay, now this is where you can really start to notice the shaking. When you like walk sideways especially it's even shakier now when you like run it's a, you can still notice a shake all right you guys notice some shaking going on over here so uh again if we just look around a bit just looking around a bit just to make sure world generation itself is normal uh it doesn't look like much has changed in the world generation but like i said though the only difference is Actually, is this normal? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is normal. Yeah. So, I don't think... Now, I kind of want to go out a little bit and, like, actually explore because, you know, it's not going to be, like, everywhere and stuff, but there might be some kind of difference. Now, I know it is shaky, but as far as world generation, I am not seeing anything unusual with that. So, I mean, I guess that's pretty good. So, if you're out here... Everything's fine. You're going to have some shaking, of course, and it's not really... Now, when you run, the thing about the running is, like, when you run, in some points, it's, like, not as shaky. Like, when I run this way, uh, I mean, it can and it can't be. You have to, like, be facing a certain way for the shake to actually be bad. Like, it's kind of like when you're in between two blocks, it's, like, actually shaky. Now, when you're staying in one block, it's not really shaky, but it's when you're in between two blocks, like, that it actually gets shaky. Because it's, like, this is where it starts to make, like, little barriers, and it's like harder to travel through now of course it's really easy to travel through still it's just that you're gonna have some shaking so yeah that's corn is one million like i said though i don't see much going on with the generation itself though of the world and the chunks itself i mean i'm not seeing nothing unusual about that what about inside of the water water is fine too um we even have a shipwreck over here but yeah, that's really all that there is about 1 million, I guess, because, you know. Now, of course, if you're out here, maybe the shaking would be a little annoying, okay, of course, but 
it's still playable. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it being playable. You're going to have some shaking, and it might be a little annoying, but you can still play out in the coordinates of 1 million. Uh, though, I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't prefer it unless you're doing some kind of challenge. But either way, it's probably not preferable that you come out to 1 million. Not that you guys would even travel that far unless you're doing a challenge again, but you know. You know what I mean. So, yeah. Alright, so TP. Now we're going to go to 10 million. I'm excited for this. Okay, guys. Coordinates 10 million. Now, what do we have out here? What do we have out here? Is it playable out here? Let's see. Just waiting. All right. World has generated. Now, okay, okay, okay. So, it's not playable out here. It's not playable out here. So, I am flying right now, but look when I go down. When you're out this far, you go straight through the blocks. The blocks are no longer solid. So, yes, the blocks are not solid no more. Now, can you still travel? Well, the simple answer is yes, you can travel, but it's harder, a lot harder. So, when I, like, you have to actually be flying, I think, right? No, okay, you don't have to, like, well, you have to be flying, obviously, but I mean, like, do you have to, like, sprint fly? Oh, like, did you guys see that sheep? See, it can't even generate out here. Like, it's going straight through the blocks, and I guess somehow it's getting harmed as well. Huh. I don't know if that would happen to me in survival or something, but as you can see, um, no animals are really going to be able to make it out here either. There's nothing, no mobs, that are able to live out here. And I don't know about, like, the wither or something, or, like, phantoms, because they're flying, but, like, things like sheeps and, like, pigs and stuff, they're not going to, yeah, they can't live out here. So, yeah, um... Yeah, so according to 10 million, now like, now like I said about the movement, you can move, but you have to wait a second before you actually start moving, and as far as shakiness, yes, yeah, so moving is very hard, not very hard, I mean, it's going to take a minute, and it's definitely going to be, like, you know, laggy, but, um, yeah, so you can still move and stuff, of course, things have gotten a little different out here, but out here, you're going to have is there anything out of the ordinary with the chunk generation. Because I'm not seeing nothing yet. Okay, now there is a shipwreck on land, but I mean, that's not abnormal. I mean, that just kind of happens sometimes. Um. Huh. So, again, I can't really see much that's happened to the actual generation in the world. Uh, it's just, of course, the way that movement's going to work and stuff when you move. And just the amount of lag in general. I mean, when you turn and stuff around, it's not laggy. It's just the movement is unstable. That's the thing about it out here. Hmm. So, i just going to, like, double check to make sure there's nothing that's too unusual out here. Because the next one that's coming up is the Farlands themselves. And the Farlands itself, I should have said. But, you know. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's nothing, like, super unusual with the chunk generation. Now, I could be wrong, because there could be something out there that's, you know, kind of nearby that I'm not seeing. But, you know, I ain't seeing too much with it, though. Like, there isn't much happening. So, yeah. Basically, that's that. Now, alright, guys. I guess it's time to go to the Farlands. Who's ready for this? Now, let's see what the Farlands is like nowadays. Okay. Okay, guys. So, to get out here, we're gonna have to go to these coordinates. Oh, whoops. Well, I forgot to put the TP. Alright. So, this, I'm going to the exact part where the Farlands actually start. And those coordinates are 1,255,000. Wait, no, no, no. 12,550,821. So, yeah. 1,250,821. that is the coordinates for the Farlands indeed. So, yes, that's where we're going. Alright. Alright, guys, let's go look at the Farlands in 3, 2, 1. Alright, guys, the Farlands, the Farlands, the Farlands! You all know that there's something unusual gonna happen here. Oh. Whoops. Okay, okay. We're in a cave because we were still inside of the block. Now, of course, the blocks still aren't solid. Okay. 
Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Where's the Farlands? Now, here's the catch. Minecraft did remove the Farlands in 1.17. They removed the Farlands. But, but, guys, there is still some chunk errors out here. I already know it. There is some chunk errors. Now, you might not be seeing it right now, but trust me when I say it, there is some chunk errors. And I'm gonna go look for one of those now. Now you're not you might not straight up see one right away, but let me tell you there is some pretty extreme chunk errors out here. Just trust me on that one. Trust me on that one. And we're gonna go look for one now so I can prove it to you guys. Cause this is still technically the farlands. We are in the farlands. Actually, I should be going this way. So we're more deeper into the farlands instead of actually coming out of it. Where you might not find this weird chunk generation. So a lot of the generation still is overall normal, but it's this. It's this. This is what it is now. This is exactly what is unusual. Okay. Now, if you look at this, now I know it's crazy and it's very weird, but if you look, this is what we have. This is crazy. I know. Now, it's not the normal Farlands, okay? It's not the Farlands, really. But it's, like, <laughs> I mean, look at this, come on. It's not quite as extreme as the Farlands, I would say. I mean, in my opinion, it's almost as extreme, because it's not really all over the place. But look at this. This is a huge chunk error. Look at this. It's a humongous chunk error. And there's more of this in the world. There's more than just this. I mean, this this is crazy as you can see now this is obviously not natural this is where chunk generation is actually very abnormal so yeah um not normal uh chunk generation now the way of like movement and flying is still the same as when we were in the coordinates of 10 million it's still the same basically um but now at this point the chunk generation is even messed up so yeah, I know it's very extreme. I mean, of course this isn't natural, right? If this, if I just found this in my Minecraft world and I was in like a normal coordinate, like a coordination, uh, yeah, and if I found this, <laughs> um, I think I would have found one of the most extreme seeds, but the thing is, this isn't due to, um, the seed or anything. This is literally just how it generates this far out. I mean, you guys can go... Make your own Minecraft world. You guys don't even need the seed or anything. But if you guys for some reason want the seed, I don't, you know, why? I don't know why you would want it. But there it is, right there. Negative four six one zero six three nine one zero. So yeah, there's even some emerald. But yeah, of course the chunk generation isn't normal. Now is it cool? Of course it's cool. But it's just way abnormal. I mean. The, here's the downside you still you can't like swim in these lakes you're going to fall straight through them in fact the water doesn't even start to stop you know how like water like you don't go as fa like you don't go down as fast with water yeah well now the water doesn't even use that and you don't even splash like when you fall on it it doesn't even splash or anything see no splashing sounds the water is completely just not even a thing um now you can break blocks and stuff but you know i mean yeah, but you can still like break blocks and stuff out here. Uh, like for example, let me show you. Of course, you can still break blocks, but you know, they're not solid still. They're still very abnormal. There's nothing normal about them. So, there is going to be more of this kind of generation further out. And, you know, there's going to be more of this. Like I said, the whole world isn't like this, but there's parts and like chunks that are like this, as you can see. Um, very abnormal. So, for our next coordinates, let's go to coordinates 15 million. And see if there's anything, like, even crazier out there. Because I haven't been out there yet. Now, the reason I went to such specific coordinates is because that's, like, literally where the farlands start. Like, what, like on the last coordinates where I teleported, like, to, like, 12 million, whatever, whatever. Uh, that, that's because that's, like, literally where the farlands start. No, like I said, the Farlands were actually removed, but the chunk generation is still crazy. So, we're just going to call that the Farlands still, because that technically is the generation of the Farlands. 
Okay, now, I haven't been here yet either, so I don't, I mean, it's going to take a minute. Alright. So. Um. Well, basically, this is going to be, like, the same as the last one, where there's going to be, like, some random chunk glitches. But, uh. Let me, should I go find one of them real quick? Because I might go do that. Okay, guys. Now, I want to sh be straight up with you. Okay, so I haven't made it to, like, a, well, actually, it kind of is a chunk uh, error. So, look at this. So, look at the bamboo. Okay. This is the bamboo now. How is this panda? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. How is this panda standing? Wait. Okay, how is it? I'm sorry for hurting if you guys are like really like you guys really love pandas, but it's like standing. How is it standing? Shouldn't it be going through the blocks right now? Wait a minute. This is wait a minute, huh? What? And look when you break things, like all the particles, like they go off to the side. Wait, this pin is able to stand on non-solid blocks. How? I don't know. Okay, that's I guess something else that I just discovered just now. But look at the bamboo though. The bamboo's like literally as big as a normal block. It's not even now. This is definitely chunk generation era. Now I'm pretty sure this is even how it was in the normal farlands. I mean, I just now noticed it. I just thought about something. What about torches? Like, aren't they going to be the same then? Because I mean, if the bamboo was thicker for some reason, you know, because the chunk generation errors, then what about torches? Like, would would they be like one block wide? That's a good question, guys. I'm going to test that out. Wait, what happens? Oh, you can't even see the torches. Okay, so guys, oh, you can see the flames from the torches, but you can't actually see the torches. So it's pretty interesting out by this cord, like by these coordinates. It's pretty interesting. Oh, is that another chunk generation error? I don't know. Wait, that's not. No, that's not. That's just a very tall. Right? I think so. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, trust me, but there is still chunk generation errors, okay? You know, but you, once you, like, are, like, beyond the Farlands, like, the Farlands and beyond, you're going to find chunk generation errors. Uh, as you can see, we did find some more errors over there. But, you know, like, the things that I showed you guys last time, you know, there's, like, whatever the floating island thingies. Y you're going to find out here, too. I mean, I'm sure of it. I'm pretty sure you will, if I'm correct. You guys have to check that out for yourself. I'm going to leave that guys to you. I'm gonna leave that to you guys. All right. Um. Now next, we're gonna go to coordinates 20 million. Now this is where we enter something called the striped lands, guys. The striped lands, not the farlands, but the striped lands. Oh, let's see how that goes. Now, this one might be even crazier than the farlands. Like even the normal farlands. Like I'm talking about, like you know, the ones where there's those huge, like you know what I'm saying. This one's like almost even crazier than that, in my opinion. Because look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Just wait for it to load. Okay, 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 okay. Look at this. So, by this point, you cannot move from your area. You can only go up and down, but you cannot go forward, backward, left, or right. You have to... You can only go up and down. Isn't that crazy? Now look at this. You can already see what's crazy. And you know what's also crazy? The fact is, you're like, where you are is you're kind of like... I'm pretty sure you're like on this block. But like, the parts that you can actually go through, they're like... They're blocked off. Like, literally, there's not even a block generating, okay? There's not even a block generating. I mean, look at this, bro. Look at this. Tell me this isn't crazy. This is definitely corrupted Minecraft. By this point, in the coordinates of 20 million, you are going to see corrupted Minecraft. Uh, there's no doubt in it. So... The next place that we are about to go, guys, is the world border for Minecraft. We are about to go to the world border in Minecraft. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Okay. 
So, the next corners are TP 30 million. Okay, we are going 30 million blocks from spawn. Now, obviously, this one had a huge chunk of like, difference like that. That was not normal at all. This, where we are at and where we are about to enter, it's not even normal, okay? There's no part of it that's normal. Now, this is actually the world border, technically, because you cannot tell it, like, it doesn't let you teleport like the minecraft limits is 30 million like because it doesn't let you teleport any further than that now if you guys get like a certain mod you can teleport any further like you can teleport further than that now if you guys want to see a video where i teleport beyond the boundaries of minecraft tell like for example like teleporting beyond 30 million and like going to like coordinates like 1 billion please comment below because i have seen what it's like and let me tell you the generation over there is a lot different and i'm not even going to spoil it if you guys want to see please comment below and i might actually make a video on that anyway even if you guys don't because i really want to do that so yes so maybe in a future video we're going to be going beyond the world borders in minecraft but yes and 30 million the generation isn't different than the 20 million it's just that this is the farthest we can go out with the normal minecraft commands unless we have a certain mod which is what I'm going to be doing in a future video, maybe even next video. Um, so yeah, there you guys have it. The Minecraft. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this, look at this, look at this. When I just look up and down on like third person, it's like something is not right with this, guys. Something is not right at all. And let me tell you that now this is not normal. This is not normal. This is not normal. Okay. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys with another video. So, that is starting from coordinates 1 and going all the way up to the world border. Without mods, of course. You know, just the Minecraft um, command teleportation limit. And there we are, guys. Here we are. We are at the end of the Minecraft world. The quote-unquote end. Because there is more. Like I said, future video coming up on that. And I will see you guys later, though. Um, if you guys want to check this out for yourself, this works in any seed. This is not, not like, a specific seed. This is, like, literally in any Minecraft world. You're going to find this in any Minecraft world. So, yeah. If you guys want to see something crazy like this, even try to figure out a way to move through it, which I'm not sure if you guys are going to be lucky there. If you guys want to try to find some kind of way to travel through this, which I don't even think that's possible... Just or if you just want to come out here to check it out yourself, go ahead. Um, you just need to come out to like coordinates like 20 million, you know, 30 million if you want to even go to the Minecraft teleportation command boundaries. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll give you. Uh, uh, I mean, I said I was gonna give you guys a like and subscribe, but I might, you know, I might. But that's not what I meant to say anyway. So please go ahead and subscribe and comment and share, and I will see you guys in another video.